uh, being there to tap that. They can't figure out their shit, but we'll try to get it down on the Let's next one. Let's crack a few one. Oh, okay. Team on us, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. Drink, 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 Right. So what we're going to do today for y'all is uh, we're going to drink a few beer. We're going to have a good discussion with Garrett here. So Garrett is a uh, brewmaster. Not a brewmaster. No? no brewmaster. No? What do you do? Just brew? Well, I make beer. I don't have my master's in brewing. I'm okay. not a doctor. I don't want my doctor in brewing. Well, can you be a master in brewing? Well, you know, you literally get your master's in brewing. I've never oh, gone to school to get my master's in brewing. I call that bullshit. You either make beer or you don't. It's like, yeah, I'm but, not like... Well, I don't know. It's like someone with their first aid being like, I'm a doctor, because I know how to do first aid. <laughs> so uh, I don't like being called a brewmaster, because there are great brewmasters out there, like Clay Potter or Ralph Pitchoff of Vancouver Island. Fair enough. But I'm not a brewmaster. Leave Harry Potter out of this. <laughs> this guy is like the shaman of brew, then. Will you, will you take that as a credential, like shaman, like witch doctor? Brew shaman? <laughs> yeah, brew no, shaman. no. There's no, no there's brew, more witch brew doctors shaman. out there. I'm like a... <laughs> It's a guy that makes beer. I'm an overglorified there gender. Is. I'm a formulator. <laughs> yeah, you know, make formulas and put water in them and things happen. Talking about formulations, how about we uh, rip through some of these today and we uh, see what's up with all of this? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you call this, Garrett? What is this in the industry when you have a bunch of beers lined up? Uh, we call it a bunch of beers. Lined up. Lined up. Lined up. That's, the one. That, that's yeah. what I call them when I'm at or, the bar. Uh, me up or R&D R &D maybe. Or Let's do this, man. Let's take this to our opening uh, station here. Oh, all right. I guess these guys like to go dark to light, but let's do it. All right. Well, let's just open them all up. Oh, no. What? No. <laughs> no. Well, you're going to really? Oh, we're going to, I mean, I would go one at a time. You know, lose and then we're going to, and you're going to drink all the one at a time? Okay. That's what we're doing. No, I don't know. You do what you guys want to do. <laughs> I wouldn't garbage. say open a bunch of beers all at once, because if you start gassing off all your CO2, it's going to get flat. This is why we invited Garrett, so he can teach us actually how to we drink We don't know beer. how to drink yet. Normally, we you just drink a lot. This is, uh... Oh, that's the new... How do you pronounce that? Jumanji? Oh, 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 moo moo ma, oh, moo moo ma. That's the new milk stuff. Oh, moo moo ma. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> it's the new milk stuff from Driftwood. Um, oh, moo moo ma. Driftwood Brewing. This is pretty good. It's it delicious. Is. Okay, one down. All right. I like your little root beer there. That's <laughs> cute. Yeah, it's it's that. adorable and smooth It's creamy. <laughs> That ooh, mama, moo. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Mm. I like that though. I like the milk side. I like how it's uh, a little bit thicker. It's it is creamy. It's still creamy. Yeah. 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 We do the lacto sugar, the milkiness of this. And yeah. that's all it is. is the sugar that is. Well, there's a lot of other grains in there that can make that full body milk feel, but the creaminess, that silky milk taste, that is just from unfermentable milk sugar. That's fantastic. Yeah. It is good. It's damn good. I like it. I like it too. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to do that one again. Like it. That might be on rotation. Good luck. Like it's all sold out. Oh, uh, because I just bought that yesterday. Well, then go back to where you got it from. Yeah, well. <laughs> I might. <laughs> yeah, you do yeah, that. You're wrong. I'm good. Where's the key <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. So, anyway. <laughs> back to Vin there. Okay. <laughs> we got next is a uh, coconut porter. Who's this by? Swans. 6%. Alright, that's good. Been wanting to try this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That was, that was the lactose that worked. I'm intolerant. <laughs> it's coming out, boys. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> Drink. That's what we're gonna do. Well. How does that hit your nose? There's not much coconut. Well, there's a slight bit of coconut to it, but. Uh, being brewed back in the Tessier days of swans. Yeah. So what's a good shelf life for a brew? Uh, depends, you know, filtered, about seven months on filtered, fine, potentially. Oh. Depends on the kind of brew. You, you know want. what? Sorry to cut you up. First time I tried this beer, yeah. could not taste the coconut. Now, can definitely taste the coconut in there. Really? 
So you got a seven month shelf life? Well, depending Probably. on the beer. IPA, like, well, it really depends on the kind of beer. But that's, that's, that's a hard question, you know? Six months, ground basis, shelf yeah. life. But, you know, okay. perfect. your beer's gonna yeah. taste best in the first three months, especially, like, super hoppy. But then you got beers like a Baltic Porter or, like, a Russian Peter Soda that you could age for five years and it would taste even better, or, like, a barley wine. So really? okay. it's all dependent on the style of beer. But your classic, lightly hopped, I don't know, dry-ish, mild ale, six months. Okay, so explain hops to me, because this is kind of like one of these subjects that I've talked to a few people about, and it's like, hops is like, the, I don't feel this way, so I'm not partial to one side or another, but like, the poor man's brewing band-aid. Because you can disguise any shitty beer with more hop. Yeah, you can say you make a, I don't know, a blonde ale or a pilsner that's uh, that's super light. Maybe you have some off flavors in there. You could dry hop the crap out of it just yeah. to cover up all those flavors. But at the same time, hops can be used in so many different ways. Like, hops have changed over the last ten years for sure. That just like it's more about the flavor and the aroma come out of the oils and everything else in hops and just like the pure bitterness. Because it's kind of like with like the lighter beers that's almost how you can separate breweries is by how they do the light beers because a lot of them taste super oxidized and they're just not there they the flavors are off yeah well there's still a lot of things that can happen you know with lighter beers like say a lager and maybe you don't do a diacetyl risk this and this could happen i'm not one to say my light beers are great uh, but things happen. Well, tell, just, tell, tell us about the pitfalls of that. Like, where would you see that happening, and how would that happen? How would you well, mitigate that? Well, it's like a production standpoint for, let's say, a lager. It's the middle of summer, and people are crushing back lagers like nobody's business. You fucking idiots keep God. drinking so much <laughs> yeah. beer, we can't keep up with demand. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just hard. You know, it's, you make beer, people drink it really quick in the summer. It's not so much rushing a beer, just trying to make it the best it can be in that time lane. Yeah. yeah. And also with light beers... Um, yeah, say you scorch a little bit of your wort with a very, like, light lager. You can taste that in there. That's true. You, Ricky? Yeah, no, it's, I'm definitely getting this Number two, down the hatch. I don't know if that's a, uh, yeah. But, Let me open this one for you. All right, so what we got here is... A sweet potato ale from Four Mile Brewery out of Mile Brewery. Royal. It was, yeah. They were, they were way cooler. Anyways. They were. Whoa. Whoa. Well, that was all right. I didn't mind that. Ricky, why don't you open up this one? Tell us all about it. Well, I don't know anything it. about it. Well, then good. This Read is it and open the it. Growler, which is a... It's a beer. It's a collab mates. beer. A right? collab beer with category 12 and faculty, faculty brewing. Well, the Growler is a beer magazine. It is a magazine. Yeah, it's the Growler is the beer mag. Well, it's not actually a beer mag. It's a handbook of every brewery. It's like an Archie comic of beer. I, you know, I used to read the thin ones that were like this big, you know, classic Archie's. Double digests. Damn, yeah, well, little yeah. jinx. You know, the growler, you know, it's just a <laughs> little, little bitch. book of every bitch. brewery around really the They should have called that little fucking He's bitch. He's a total Reggie. <laughs> Reggie? He's a yeah. Reggie. Why? <sighs> that smells so good. Uh, Alright, so what did we drink here? We're drinking that uh, Category right, 12, uh, faculty, faculty Brewing Growler Collaboration. That was it. Hazy Belgian Pale Ale. It's good. It's hazy. Mm -hmm. It's Belgian-y. It's got hops. It's got everything we're looking for here. First edition of the Growler BC's Brewer Collaboration Series. We brought together the Mad Science. Blah, blah. I'd say they hit it off right on the head. <laughs> Tip it off the bar. No, off. I don't want to. Oh. It's going to smash. I'm going to smash it. Oh. Okay. Now, if you bang out the rest <laughs> of the bottles, it'll smash. <laughs> Try to avoid the Take a whiff. What is that? What's the BB for? The Red Arrow. Free some. That's for funny. hemp, hibiscus, Shit. and what? honey. Okay. What do I like? Yeah, what do I you like, like? I like beer that fucking tastes like beer. I like, I like, I like malt forward beers for the not pop to balance them out. I yes. This one done. Garrett's story. Oh, I want to tip one over. Yeah, that would have been one you should have. I see what you're doing there. It's like a pop gun action. Yeah, you take the cap, you hook it under, and pump it out. All right, so let's get back to business. All right, and All right. Okay, so, hey. Oh, that was go. mine that and not Grover. Oh, that's good. Pulling down easy. Let's see if, if she, she goes, goes she down. If she goes down easy. Anyway, down easy. Down easy. Let's tell, tell us about it, Garrett. Well, that's, yeah, that's Hoyne. 
what, what's there to say? Points OG Victoria. Oh, when yeah. he used to run swans back in the original day. And then he took over canoe, and then he did point. He Off the hit. table. Hey, you guys! No! And that you know what? what? Slow. This slow. is beautiful slow. because this is you. It's me. All right. I'm Rick. I'm Andy. And we've been there, tap that with... Garrett, uh, if you don't know what I look like, I'm on the label all over the place. <laughs> He's on Canadian's Most Wanted there. I'm back, well, yeah, that's got to, but no one needs to know that. Him. Thanks a yeah. lot. You probably Cheers. don't You probably don't recognize him because he has his underwear on right now, and he's not oh, grabbing so it. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Some gross-ass synchronicity right here. Not the beer, but these two grease bags. Yeah, this is, this can be on the record, though. There's some lonely people out there just want three hours of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we're like friends in your living room. Yeah, if you don't have anyone to drink with. If these it. guys are in your living room, call the fucking cops. <laughs> I mean, I'm in, I'm in one of their basements. I'm a little worried right now. Yeah, yeah, no Gary, come here. Drink some beers. It's fine.